Good morning. I'll give you a brief uh, technical overview of the new car, the Ferrari F2012. Um, starting from the front, going gradually towards the back. The front of the car, the front wing, is based on the wing we introduced towards the latter part of uh, last season. But we have worked to further improve the vertical flows that go towards the back of the car. Uh, much talked about is the nose of this car. Uh, this is actually um, very much influenced by the new regulations. The part of the chassis here we've tried to keep as high as possible because it's better for aerodynamics. But there's a new regulation which limits the height of this area to what we've actually chosen. So that actually forces us to have this rather ungainly step, but we find it's got no negative aspect aerodynamically, but it uh, improves the flow towards the low part of the car. A new aspect of this car is the front suspension. We've selected the pull rod layout, uh, which is new for the recent years of Formula One. This uh, has enabled us to um, improve the flow of the front wing towards the back of the car. Another area where we've spent a lot of effort to try and uh, improve our, our, our aerodynamic layout is the side pod area. We've uh, had to make much more aggressive and difficult and challenging to pass uh, lateral crash structures and this has enabled us to totally revisit the area of turning vanes and the winglets in front of the side pod and therefore uh, we have gained aerodynamically in that aspect. The radiator lay layout is new uh, under the skin uh, but we have decided to uh, remove part of this radiator and put it at the back of the car in order to be able to have as narrow as possible side pods and this inlet here leads towards that new radiator. The regulations have uh, made us change the exhausts compared to what we had last year. So the low exhausts we had in the last season are not allowed anymore. We've had to therefore mount exhausts uh, which are higher and uh, this layout here uh, has, is the result of this work. We have um, therefore needed to have reasonably wide side pods at the top at the upper part because that improves the exhaust flow towards the back of the car whereas the low part of the side pods and the coke panels is much narrower than the previous years um, we've been able to do that through a very careful repackaging of all the mechanical components under the skin getting towards the back of the car we have a, a new for ferrari's uh, point of view uh, suspension which is a pull rod and that has enabled us to further narrow that central part and gain in aerodynamic performance and then we get towards the rear wing this is visually very similar to the wing we had in the last season we have um, reviewed all the profiles in order to maximize downforce and reduce drag as much as possible and there will be further evolutions for the first race so this is the new Ferrari 2012 and we'll see how it goes this season